African lady explains the misunderstanding between African and black American. She explains that they don't have the same mentality as black Americans have. As an African living in the United States, I used to share the same sentiment that Africans share about African Americans because I had a hard time when I first moved here. People used to always tell me, you're not black enough, you're an Oreo, you're secretly white on the inside, as if I wasn't literally from Africa. But I now understand after living here for eight years that black in the United States is a very specific criteria and anything outside of that just doesn't fit. But I want to help African Americans understand that Africans coming to the United States are immigrants, first and foremost. Then they are Nigerian or Senegalese or whatever country they're from. And then at some point, they are black. But Africans don't put black high up on their identity well, as much as African Americans do. And that is for legitimate reasons on both ends. And so when an African is coming to the United States, they're thinking to themselves, okay, I'm an immigrant here. I have to do my best for myself and my family back home. The sacrifices that took for me to get here were no light work, okay? So I need to really like align myself with what's going to make me successful in this country. And because it's the United States, it's the dominant culture, which is white American culture. And so Africans are going to instinctively ally themselves with the culture that's going to give them the most success. I mean, African Americans even admit that they have to code switch to be successful here because that's what brings success. And so Africans are like, all right, we'll do that. And it also doesn't help that for a long time, Africans are fed a very negative view of black American culture, and that's its own propaganda. But because Africans are so conservative and they're coming to a country where black americans have been labeled as the antithesis to this conservative traditional family values they have if anything more in common with like southern baptist white racist people but that aside going back to identity markers black americans put black first and foremost and then everything else goes below it and so they're thinking when an, another black people come to our country they're going to want to integrate with us the other black people because duh black comes first and they get quickly disappointed in realizing that for Africans, black and the identity and that coming is not first. Their immigrant identity comes first and then their country. And if anything, for us as Africans to feel like that's my brother, that's my brethren or whatever, you have to come from the same tribe as us because we have so many black people around, we don't automatically pre-select for black. But black Americans don't have so many black people around, have had to defend and protect their culture among, amidst a dominant white culture and so they are already pre-select and are overprotective for black and so that's why i think at the core of it there's like a deep misunderstanding because of not realizing that we put i like where we put our identity markers and what we put first and what we prioritize are so different culturally because of our our differences in trauma realistically and so it does make sense that black americans will be like oh my people my you know my brethren come here and african americans or africans sorry coming to the united states are like i'm just trying to make it here like you know it's a lot of work to emigrate to the united states and so y'all can stay over there and i can see why it's hurtful and i can see why it's taken personally and i can see the deep misunderstanding and the betrayal that African Americans feel. But it's unfortunate, and that's just a reality. But if we can talk about it from this perspective, I think we can get to a better understanding. Um, but I also believe that Africans that spend enough time in the United States get to this compassion and understanding of the Black American community, because it is a very unique and specific set of circumstances for a culture to grow and to develop.